Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. So a number of you have asked me in the comments section how to calculate the number of days before your strong node expires. So um, it's kind of hard to explain that step by step on the texts on a yeah on the comment section. So I decided to make a video showing you how to calculate that. And this is particularly important so you can make the best decision on what to do with your notes when they expired and take action at the appropriate time. Because if you let time pass, you will start losing money instead of earning. So um, if you want to know more about that, uh, click on the video I um, actually created on, on Entangle Notes. Uh, so um, without further ado, let's get started. Today we're going to be jumping directly to the browser and I want to show you these are the notes I have created with this particular wallet and in this section I want you to focus here it tells me my rewards uh, the 4.6134 uh, number is the, how many I have accrued pending to claim but that's not the important thing I want you to hover over this blue bar and then you're going to be getting more information you cannot do this on mobile so you need to go to a desktop computer and get this done at least not with trust wallet so i'm here in my computer and as you can see it tells me i have accrued for this particular node 15.834 tokens out of a 20 max so remember guys uh strong block capped our uh nodes to 20 and uh, they didn't even capped it starting with their announcement they capped them uh, starting with the date of creation. So um, it's unfortunate, uh, but that's how things are. So now you, you need to know what to do next with your nodes. Uh, so the first thing we need to calculate is how many rewards are still pending before this node expires. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to show you. Let's, so let's open the calculator. And what I'm going to do is um, from a total of 20 nodes I'm going to be getting for this node, I'm going to subtract the accrued amount. So it's 15.834. So 15.834. And that tells me I'm going, I'm still left with 4.16 stronger to accrued and to accrue so now i need to know when will i finish accruing this total amount of tokens so all you have to do if you have a um, ethereum node is divide by 0 0.091 if you have poly nodes uh, that's going to be a different number i don't know exactly how many uh Poly, you uh, sorry, how many stronger you get in those nodes? Uh, the information was not easily findable. Uh, so, if you know how many, and I know there's going to be a DK, but if you know how many before the DK, then all you have to do is substitute 0 0.091 for the amount you're getting daily with poly nodes. So, that's that's going to be easy once you have that information. So, for now, let's assume every node is going to accrue 0 0.091 tokens per day and uh, so we'll just click on equal and get the answer so i'm going to finish accruing my stronger for that node in particular in 45.8 days so um next pay in this case is due in 42 days so here's the irony if i want to finish accruing i would now have to subtract 45 days still pending minus 42 because I prepaid my maintenance fee and that tells me that the last 3.78 last 3.8 days if I want to get that stronger I would get for that I still have to pay $15 for an extra maintenance month plus gas fee which is around let's say 50 to 60 dollars and how many um tokens I'm going to be receiving if I pay for that extra uh, maintenance fee well all you have to do is divide by 0 0.091 and i'm going to be getting no that's actually uh, it was a multiplication so instead of dividing we're going to be multiplying so 3.8 days still remaining times 0 0.091 stronger i'm getting per day equals i'm going to be missing 0.34 stronger which at the current price is like six dollars so i will let this node go i'm going to be claiming exactly 42 days which is what i have prepaid and then um, i'm not going to be uh, paying more maintenance fees because this node will no longer be really profitable if i have to pay that much 
uh, gas fees and maintenance fees. So you have to do this for each one of your nodes. Uh, let's do it one more time so, so we can uh, make sure we have learned how to do this properly. So let's go with this node. So the first thing is um, you have to subtract from the total amount of 20 stronger you're going to be getting minus the amount you have accrued. So hover over this, it's 11.0595. So minus 11. 0.0595 so I still have 8.94 stronger to go before the snow expires how many days is that well you divide that by 0 0.091 which is how many stronger I'm getting per day and it's going to tell me in 98 days I'm going to finish accruing uh, my stronger lift so I have prepaid 33 days ahead so if I want to finish getting all this uh, tokens left, I will have, have to prepay more days. So if I subtract the 33 days I have prepaid, minus 33, I would still pay, well, I can pay two more months and then I'm going to just let go five days of accruing, which let's subtract 60, 60 days. So that's, I'm subtracting those two months, I'm going to prepay, I'm going to let go 5.24 days of stronger, which is, if we multiply by 0.091, I'm going to be letting go half a stronger, so I'm going to just be letting go $10 worth of stronger, or even less, because the price is actually below 20 now. Uh, so if I wanted to get this $20, I would have to pay $60 of gas fees and maintenance fee. It's not worth it, guys. So uh, the, the thing, the takeaway I want you to take from this video is, uh, one, you need to calculate how many days are left before your node expires. Two, you have to learn how many stronger you're going to be left uh, before your maintenance fees expire. Uh, or if you, you know you need to make a decision if you want to renew those uh, maintenance costs and gas fees. Uh, and third, you might want to decide when to let go of your node because it's not going to be worth for you paying extra gas fees if all you're getting is an extra strong or half a strong. Uh, I hope this video was useful to you guys. If it was, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this video if you want to learn more how to invest like a Silicon Valley venture capitalist would. See you in the next video. Bye bye now.